The owner of a troubled downtown Dayton nightclub speaks out. For the first time ever, the city of Dayton temporarily issued a restraining order against a business shutting down the vault after city officials deemed it a public nuisance. The club's owner spoke only to Arnett Pegler and says his business is being wrongfully targeted. Outside the vault nightclub is this, a notice to vacate and shut down operations until further notice. The community and the residents downtown and major businesses, I mean major businesses, when they are complaining, you know, saying we're going to move out, we can't have that. Major Wolford with the Dayton Police Department says the decision to have the club shut down for now was influenced by not only the complaints from businesses, but also the downtown Dayton partnership. We're not in the business of trying to shut others down, um, but we had so many complaints from so many different businesses and property owners, we felt we had no choice. The vault's closing had nothing to do with the city's effort to have its liquor license revoked. Police say it's because of it being a nuisance to the community, a drain on police resources with nearly 100 calls within the past two years, along with a number of violent crimes. The vault has been open for 20 months now, and I spoke to one of its owners, Hobson Bell, today, and he tells me that the city hasn't given him a fair chance to defend his business. He also tells me that all of the problems have been happening outside of his establishment. I asked the police, what else can we do to, 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 help, to, help, to help our situation? And we, we don't get any return phone calls. We don't get any conversation from the Dayton police. Bell says he's put his life savings in this club and spent 2500 on security. He says it's a slap in the face to have his business shut down like this. These are people's jobs. This is an investment. This is not... You know, there's no, nothing illegal that we're doing. You know, we're just trying to run a business. In Dayton, Annette Pegler, ABC 22 News. And Bell and his lawyer will have their chance to defend the business in court on July 12th.